So, oh, you know, we have to dive into a forecast. There we you do, go. We, we we just do. food for thought. I know everyone has a little spring fever right now because we've been so mild. We're still in the 50s. Some of you, including uh, Cuyahoga County, Lake Ashtabula, parts of Geauga County, now dealing with a breeze right off the lake, and that's cooled you into the upper 40s, but it has been so mild. We're actually about 10 to 15 degrees above where our typical highs should be this time of the year. And across the region, that mild temperature profile is not in short supply anywhere from Louisville to St. Louis. They're in the 60s. As you approach Charlotte, maybe Atlanta, things get a little closer to 70. But even Minneapolis, they're in the 40s right now. We will continue to tap into some warmth. The thing we start to tap into tomorrow beyond the mild conditions is going to be some cloud cover. And then eventually our next system, which is just continuing to develop closer to the Lone Star State right now, that will make it to us late Tuesday into Wednesday and brush us with a few chances for showers. So I'm breaking it down to you in a timeline perspective tomorrow. Those clouds will increase. We have a rain chance late. I think the bulk of that rain is going to be pretty slim and going to happen overnight. So you probably won't even realize it by the time you wake up on Wednesday and things are about to get mighty warm. Temperatures are going to skyrocket into the 60s again. We'll have breezy conditions. The wind is our key of transporting some of that warmth. It sticks around for Thursday, but we have another potent front that's going to slide on through showers and even some thunderstorms expected for Thursday as well. And then with the beauty of a front, temperatures return back into the 30s as soon as Friday. So let's show you it near National Zymark kind of big picture forecast. The area high that's in control right now continues to slide to the east come tomorrow. So this makes our next system shoot out just a little bit pronounced through the central plain states arrives to us overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. This area low still off to our north and west. So that's why we're on the warm side of things. We'll have a warm front lift through. Our winds are still out of the south. And then by Wednesday, I have actually turned on our temperatures too. These are future cast temperatures, but our temperatures on Wednesday potentially near record warmth. Our record high for Wednesday currently sits at 67 degrees. I think we could make it to 67 once again. Very short lived as temperatures come falling as we get through Thursday and then Friday. Friday is going to be a cold one around here. It's going to be a shock to the system as we're back in the 30s. But Thursday in your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, it's going to be a soggy one across Northeast Ohio and perhaps a few rumbles of thunder as well, Betsy.